Hi everyone, my name is Rachel. You might have seen me on some of the videos that your big brothers and sisters have been watching. Maybe you started to join in and thought that yeah, Rachel goes on a little bit. I'd rather go off and play. I completely understand. So I decided so I decided to make a little bit just for you. Now your older brothers and sisters, aunties, uncles, pet dog, grown-ups in your house, they can join in. But this is strictly for you. Okay, so are you ready? I wonder if you can guess what creature we're going to be learning about. The postman who saw this this morning and thought it was very fetching. What could it be that we are learning about? It is, of course, a frog. We're going to be learning a little bit more about frogs. Now, don't worry, we won't be sitting down the whole time. We're going to be doing different things to get your mouths moving, your brains thinking, and your body moving too. So here we have the frog. Can you spot its eyes? It has big, round eyes eyes and it has those big eyes so that it can spot any predators any creatures that are coming to gobble it up for example if a big heron came down a bird that came and swooped and ate it up if it spotted it with its big eyes before that it could go and hide now i wonder how good you are at spotting things we're going to play a quick game called i spy you know how to play it but we're going to be by the pond we're going to have our binoculars ready to see what we can spot through the bulrushes. Are you ready? Get your binoculars out. Give them a little bit of a polish if you need to. And let's see. I'm going to move myself out a little bit. There we go. So these are some of the animals that you might find at the pond. Maybe you've seen some yourself. So let's see what we can spot through the bulrushes. So get your binoculars out. Look closely. What could be behind those bulrushes? I don't know. I think we're going to have to part them a little bit. Let's see. Oh, hang on. I think I've got it. Get your binoculars. Have you guessed it? It's, it's a duck, isn't it? Well done. Next one we have, what is that? I'm going to have to zoom in with my binoculars really closely. I can see some orange and some white and some black. Have any of you guessed it already? Let's have a little bit of a closer look. Oh, I think I've got it. Can you shout it out? Yep, it's a butterfly. Well done. Let's look at this next one. Ooh, I can see a big eye there. Is that a frog? Because I do know frogs have big eyes. Hmm, I'm going to part those bulrushes a little bit. Hmm, I think I've guessed it. What do you think it is? Yep, it's a fish. We've got one last one. Oh, this one is tricky. Get those binoculars out. Zoom in a little bit. Get the focus just right. Huh. Maybe it's green or is it cream? I can even see some white. I do not know. Let's part those bulrushes a little bit and see. Oh, I think I've got it. Have you got it? We should be spotting this one today, shouldn't we? It's a frog. Brilliant. And frogs, like I said, have amazing eyesight. The other thing that they have, whoop, let's get this right, is a very long tongue longer than this one it's so long and at the end it's sticky so that it can shoot out and catch flies and we're going to sing a song about frogs okay now i am not the best singer in the world but do you know what that's totally fine because i like singing and i can sing anyway there are a few actions to join in with this song they're really easy you're going to go like this you're going to go like this and you're going to go like this so mm, Mm, is how it goes. If you don't know it, just join in with the actions, okay? <clears throat> la, 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 la. Let me just get ready. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> mm, mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm, mm, went the little green frog. Mm, mm, went the little green frog one day. And the frog went, mm, mm, ah. We all know frogs go la di da di da la di da di da la di da di da. We all know frogs go la di da di da. They don't go mm, mm, ah. Hang on, I know something about frogs. They do go mm, mm, ah to get their food because they stick their tongue out to catch it, and then they close their eyes as it pushes down their throat. And come to think of it, I have never seen a frog go la di da di da because if you think if that happened, I would definitely be telling everyone about it. 
So I'm going to sing it again, but remember that the song has got it back to front. Frog do go. Mm -hmm. ah. Are you ready? This time we're going to do it a little bit more quickly. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog one day. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog. Mm -mm. Went the little green frog one day and the frog went, mm -mm. ah, we all know frogs go, la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da, we all know frogs go, la di da di da, they don't go, mm -mm. ah, except they do, don't they? We know that. But still enjoy singing the song, but if you sing it with anyone, tell them that the song is back to front. So we've talked about the eyes, we've talked about their tongue. Hmm, I think we need to think about how frogs move. So let's watch this little video about how frogs move. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Hang on. Where's the buttons gone? Here we go. Let's see how frogs move. Well, sometimes they are very, very still. Other times, though, they jump. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, hang on, this can't be right. They don't ride scooters. Get that out of here, honestly. So here we are, they're jumping with their big, long, strong legs behind them. Amazing how they jump. They swim too, you can see here. They're pushing with their back legs and they're sweat. What, what's going on? They do not roll a skate. Who put this together? Get that frog out of here. Frogs do not roller skate. I promise you that much. And there we are, swimming feet back to normal. They swim, they jump. What else might they do? They do not ride bikes. I, I'm really sorry for this, grown-ups. I did not mean to put this in here. Obviously, frogs do not ride bikes. This is better. There they are. Sometimes they are very very still, almost like they're frozen. I'm sorry about that video. Yes, they do not ride bikes, they do not scoot, they do not roller skate, but they do do a lot of jumping. And did you spot when it was, they were just so still, it almost looked like a photograph instead of a movie, a film. They were so still, like they were frozen. So we're going to play Frog Freeze right now. I'm going to shout jump, and you have to jump, 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 jump. Any way you want, you can jump like frogs, you can hop on one leg, you can jump across the room, just make sure you're safe. So jump around. You can say ribbit, ribbit if you want to, just like frogs. But when I shout freeze, you freeze. Do not move. If there's a grown-up around, they're going to try and see how still you are. Are you ready? Okay, so jump. Get that jump in, jump, jump, jump. Freeze! Don't move, don't move a single inch. Oh, you are good at this. Okay, let's do some more jumping. Jump, jump, jump. Keep jumping around, jump high, jump low, jump as far as you can. Keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. Freeze! Has this video just paused? Because you look so still. That is fantastic. Right, go. Jumping again. You can maybe throw in some swimming if you want. Nice big leap, some ribbit and ribbit and freeze. So good at this. Well done. Not moving a muscle. Right, you can move now. You can wiggle it out, jiggle a little bit, get it all out, shake your hands and then sit down because I have a story for you. And this is how we're ending today. So I'm going to get the story up. You can follow along the pictures. And if your grown-ups want to, they can click on the link before, below and find lots of things to do with this story. So this story is called The Perfect Ribbit. On a sunny day in spring, Mama Frog admired the eggs she'd laid in the pond. This is the most beautiful clump of frog spawn I've ever seen, said Papa Frog. Mama and, pa Mama and Papa couldn't wait for the little black. Let's get rid of that. Hang on. Sorry about that. The little black dots to turn into tadpoles so they could welcome them to the pond. After three weeks, the first tadpole wriggled out of his jelly, excited to explore. Mama says, I'm a tadpole, he told the fish proudly. Not a tadpole, a tadpole, said Mama Frog with a smile. But tadpole is a great name for you. Tadpole was full of questions and learnt lots of things about pond life. He learnt that the fish were fast swimmers 
and that some of the ducks had ticklish feet. Most importantly, he learned that when he grew up, he would become a frog, just like Mama and Papa. I want to be a really good frog, he thought. Maybe I should start practicing now. Tapple swam to the surface of the pond to watch some of the other frogs. They looked very different from Tapple, and they made the most amazing noises. Rabbit! Rabbit! said the frogs. They were so loud that Tapple could hear them from under the water. Oh, I want to be just like them, thought Tapple, but I'll need a perfect frog noise. So Tapple swam to the clearest patch of water and got ready to practice the perfect rivet. I want to see if you can do this too. This is what he did. He wiggled his tummy, he puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and reboots he said. <sighs> Tapple was disappointed. That wasn't a perfect rivet. It's okay, said Mama Frog. You're a tiny tadpole. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple had grown some back legs. I'm changing, he thought excitedly. <coughs> Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So Tapple clung to the tallest pondweed and got ready to practice the perfect rivet. Let's join in. He wiggled his tummy. He puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and repeat, he said. Tapple was sad. That wasn't a perfect rivet. It's okay, said Papa Frog. You're a growing tadpole. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple had grown some front legs. I've changed some more, he thought excitedly. Maybe I'm ready to make a frog noise now. So Tapple stood on the biggest rock and got ready to practice the perfect rivet. Can you join in? He wiggled his tummy. He puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and... Robot, he said. Oh, Tapple was worried. That wasn't a perfect rivet. It's okay, said Mama Frog. You're nearly a froglet. You'll get the hang of it when you're bigger. A few weeks later, Tapple's tail began to shrink and he felt able to explore above the water. I'm a froglet, he shouted excitedly. I'll be able to make a frog noise now. So Tapple stood on the prettiest lily pad and got ready to practice the perfect rivet. He wiggled his tummy, puffed out his chin, opened his mouth and croak. Oh, that wasn't a perfect rivet, but it was a perfect croak. Thank you so much for joining in. Grown-ups, let me know if your kids enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again soon.